Hey guys, it's your girl Isha here, co-founder of Events by Ashe and creator of Ultimate Trinidad Carnival, Ultimate Crop Over, and the Eat Dance Travel Series. And today, <laughs> I'm really, really excited. I wanted to do a video about this for a really long time. This video series is gonna be called Me Made Carnival. And in it, I'm gonna be talking about all of the things that I make for all of the carnival trips that I go to throughout the year with our clients, of course. And in case you didn't know, I sew, I do. I don't have as much time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> as I used to but especially when trips are coming around you know the pressure is on and I need outfits to wear so that's usually where you find me in the sewing room sewing I'll just be real any other sewer or sewist out there it's usually the case we have somewhere to go we have nothing to wear so we make something and I am absolutely no exception so in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the outfits that I made for Ultimate Crop Over, which happened in August this year. And I made uh, four things. That's what I'm gonna be sharing with you today. So the first one is a beach cover-up. And I actually made this uh, quite a, a couple of years ago. And I kind of recycle it for every trip. And it's actually a... Um, shawl uh, you know every video i'm usually wearing some kind of shawl as you guys can see i'm always cold so shawls just are really easy for me to kind of add another layer and i just have one on all the time so this was actually a shawl that i wasn't wearing as much like with my regular outfits because it's a tough one to kind of coordinate so i thought eh, i'm not wearing it that much anyway it is quite long as you can see so and it's quite wide so I was able to, um, I think I found a YouTube video. If I'm able to find it again, I'll post the link. Um, but if not, I'm sure I can find it on somebody's blog, how to make a beach cover up out of a shawl. So you basically um, take the long end of the shawl, fold it in half, and then cut a neck hole like that. Um, and that's pretty much it. Yeah, you hem the edges of the neck hole. You don't have to hem the edges of the sleeves because that's like the um, the actual edge of the shawl. And then you sew up the sides. And really that's it. Everything else is finished. Like this had a really nice and cute um, fringe on the end of it there. I hope you guys can see the details of this. But this is a my good old standby beach cover up. <laughs> So I've gotten so much wear and usage out of this. It's insane and it didn't cost me anything extra because it was a shawl that I already had. Um, I'm considering which of my shawls to part with next. I, I love all of my shawls, so it's hard for me to repurpose them into something else, but maybe I will find another one. So this was uh, the one, one of the things that I made for Barbados Carnival. The uh, second thing that I made was actually my outfit for Ruckatuck. So Ruckatuck is this um, organization, they're based in the UK. They do a number of parties at you know different carnivals. Uh, so they do quite a, a, I think two in Barbados and then they do one, two, maybe three back in the UK in London, usually around Notting Hill Carnival, which is held in August as well. And uh, this was my first time going to Ruckatuck, which is a beach slash boat party. So it kind of starts at the beach. It started at the Copacabana Beach Club in Barbados, and then it went on to the Harbor Master boat um, in Barbados as well. It was fantastic. We had a great time at Ruckatuck. The crowd was hype. You know, DJs were outstanding. You know, DJ Private Ryan was on the boat. Patrick, the hype man, big up to you guys. Had an, a fantastic time on the boat with the, everybody. Um, but let me talk about the outfit. <laughs> so I wanted something, actually first, let me show you guys the pattern that I used. So it was uh, very easy, I hope you guys can see this, very easy, very Vogue um, VP969. And it's basically a crop top and shorts or uh, long pants. So the crop top, you can do it with like, a, looks like a three quarter length sleeve, or you can do a longer sleeve, and this is a longer version to this top here. Um, but it's a very easy, very Vogue. For those of you who aren't really familiar with um, very easy, very Vogue, they are um, five pieces or less, six pieces or less 
um, to cut out and sew together. So they use a very simple construction. Um, uh, some of them do have zippers and whatnot, but it's usually very simple construction, you know, so that it doesn't take you that long to sew. So I was really excited when I found that pattern. You know, you want to show some skin and look cute and look sexy. So I was really excited when I came across that pattern and I already had the perfect fabric um, to make the top. Which, so I made a view A, which was the crop, the really short crop top here, and it has a really nice front tie, so I kind of tied that in a knot. And I'll be sure to post a picture of myself in the full outfit on the boat, because you know I took those. And of course it looked really nice against the beautiful blue Barbados water. Oh, we just had a great time at Rukatuk. So yeah, this was the um, first thing. So I opted to make it sleeveless and um, just finish the inside of the sleeves with uh, like some binding here. I hope you guys can see that. So that finished the edges really nicely and the neck edges I used some binding that I already had as well. So this was rayon fabric that I had. Gosh, my fabric collection. <laughs> In my fabric collection, I had this fabric, so I was so excited to use it. So that is the top. Now the bottom, I actually used a um, pattern from a book that I already had, and I was dying to use the book. So the book is called Breaking the Pattern, A Modern Way to Sew, and it's by Sara and Laura Huta of Named Patterns. And here, here it is. I hope you guys can see that. Isn't this coat everything? I am working my way to getting there to make this coat. But, oh my gosh, they have some really, really nice patterns in this book. The one that I was really excited about was their pant pattern. Well, they have a couple of pant patterns in here, but this pair of lovely pants here, um, and I was really excited about it because it has uh, slits up the middle of the legs. So I'll kind of show you what I did. This was um, fabric that I already had um, that I purchased uh, probably at the beginning of this year from Mood Fabrics. It's a stretchy jersey fabric. So, and I just love the colors, you know, kind of flesh toned and they, they just drape so beautifully. And as you can see here, it has like a kind of slit going up the front of the leg and it's not too high. So, you know, you still have a little bit of modesty, <laughs> but it's a um, wide legs design. And if you guys know me, I love a wide leg pants. So I was really excited to get to make this. The fabric was a little tricky to work with, I have to be honest, you know, it's a wrinkly jersey and, you know, cutting it was a challenge, sewing it was a bit of a challenge, but I persevered and got through it and finished them to wear to Rukatuk. So that is outfit number two. The third outfit is a romper that I made and this is a McCall's pattern. Uh, M7755, it's actually a learn to sew pattern. And I like these patterns, even though I am, I wouldn't say I'm an expert sewer, I'm more like intermediate, you know, the occasional zipper and buttonholes still daunt me. Learn to sew patterns are really good because they usually don't have tricky buttonholes, crazy zippers, or any um, techniques that are hard to do. So I made this one here, which is view B, and hopefully you can see that. So it has this really lovely wide leg and it's kind of a flutter leg pattern. So it, it's not a full pant leg, it's kind of like slit up the side. And I also made it with a matching belt. So that's the one that I made there. And let me show you guys the fabric that I had. So I have had this fabric for three years. So I bought this when I was in India in 2016 and it's a really lovely lightweight cotton that I have been dying <laughs> to use and I didn't have the right thing to make. So I was so excited that I finally got to make it, um, use it. Um, so this is the top. So, you know, it kind of has a little slit down the front here, you know, so if you wanted to, you could 
pull the top of the neck to cover the slit up or kind of open it up a little bit if you wanted some sexiness. Um, so it ties around the neck and these are the armholes. And I will say these armholes are quite deep armholes. When I make this pattern again, because I'm definitely making this pattern again, it was so easy. Um, I'm gonna um, sew the armholes higher because um, I find it's a little bit too low for my taste and this, this um, romper doesn't really lend to a bra. So I rather have a higher kind of armhole to kind of, you know, no costume or <laughs> outfit malfunctions. <laughs> So here, uh, this is the rest of the romper, and then this is the l pant leg here. Hopefully you can see that. And this is the kind of slit going down the side. So it's a nice flutter leg. I'll be sure to post a picture um, here so you guys can see the entire romper. But that's outfit number three. And I didn't wear that anywhere in particular. I kind of just brought it with me to wear around, you know? So when we went to uh, our brunch, our waterside brunch at Lone Star Restaurant, right on the gorgeous Barbados Gold Coastline, um, I wore it to brunch, you know, when I had to go back to the mass camp <laughs> to collect our clients' costumes because that's one of the services that we offer with any of our carnival packages. Um, I wore that, you know, because I was like, oh, let me just pull this on, go to the mass camp, get the balance of the costumes. Um, so I just wore it kind of around, you know, if I was at the hotel, um, one of the days my team member and I were lucky to have some downtime. So we just hung out by the pool, you know, um, had a few bites to eat, you know, wore it there. So it was just a good little outfit to pull on really quickly and just lounge in. So I lounged in it in Barbados. So that's outfit number three. And outfit number four is actually what I wore to the Limers Cruise. If you've seen my, um, I believe it was my August faves video where I talked about Limers, it was fantastic. It was glorious, it was amazing. We had a great time. And uh, I needed a bathing suit, like something that was cute, you know, to wear to Lima's. So I made my very first swimsuit and I was so proud of myself because it turned out so well. And this McCall's pattern just gave me life, guys, seriously. It was just everything when I saw it. Um, so this view here is what caught my eye. I was like, oh, this is hot you know, with the plunging neckline, no back, and it gives you a little bit of coverage in the underwear area, which is nice too. So that was view A and it's pattern M7964. So yeah, this McCall's, mm -hmm. that was mine right there. Um, I'm thinking of using this because I do have another piece of fabric that I bought from Mood, and I think I mentioned it in one of my blogs. I bought a blue mosaic print stretch fabric. So I'm thinking of making maybe the same swimsuit or maybe this view here as my Monday wear for Trinidad Carnival next year. Um, let me know in the comments what you think I should do. If I should make the swim same swimsuit or if I should make a different one. I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyway, so that is the pattern. Let me show you guys the swimsuit. Okay, so this was this leopard print delicious, gorgeous fabric that I fell in love with at Mood. So it's called an animal print abstract fabric, so I'll be sure to link it. So these are the straps that kind of go, you know, go over your boob area here, right? And then here is the bottom half. That's the panty part there. So I was so, pleased with myself. This actually didn't take that long to sew. Um, it came together really easily. There were a couple of parts like in the waistband when you're attaching the straps to the waistband that was a little tricky, you know, wrong side versus right side and I actually sewed the wrong side the first time so I had to take it out and do it over again. But it actually was surprisingly easy to sew. Even the um, bikini bottom part was really easy to sew. It came together really easily. Um, I have a regular sewing machine. I don't have a serger or as the Brits call it, an overlocker. <laughs> I don't have one. So I was a little bit nervous about sewing it with just a regular sewing machine, but I just used my little zigzag stitch and it worked perfectly. So 
yeah that was my limers outfit and to go with that and I'll, I'll be sure to post a picture and I hope I have a picture I'm pretty sure I do of me in the swimsuit what I did was I took one of the shawls that I already had and um, tied an easy um, cover-up I just tied it around the back of my neck and it kind of flowed like a long vest like a maxi vest so it looked really really cute I'll be sure to post the link to the pattern and also to the shawl tying tutorial because I found that on Mood's website they actually had a how to tie your shawl many different ways you know as beach cover-ups or dresses or whatever and the vest was the one that worked for the piece of fabric that I had well the shawl that I had um, so that's what I did and I did a nice little long flowy vest and it was very Barbados so I was very very excited that was a lot so guys this is that's it that was the fourth thing that I had to show you feel free to share any fit out Outfits that you loved wearing in the comments below of course I love your comments please keep them coming and share some pictures with yeah that's it guys as always it's your girl Isha till the next line